All right, so it was requested to do some live arena. You know, people are asking about it, and um, I'm going to do a little live arena showcase for you guys. I am still waiting to get Zeal Boots. I've gone through seven live arena chests, and not a single goddamn, uh, what do you call it? Not a single goddamn fucking uh, Zeal Boot. It's so annoying, dude. But all right, let's do this. Uh, it's going to be pretty straightforward, simple. Starting out with Lydia, that's interesting. Hmm, maybe he doesn't want me dealing with Sun Wukong, but yeah, I don't know. Let's do that. Maybe I should have brought out Sun Wukong just to call his bluff. But I, I think I could just use... Oh, okay. Well, he's going to have block buffs up. I think what I need to do is probably bring in these two. Actually, let's do... Yeah, let's do Sun Wukong. It's almost necessary. He's probably going to pick UDK, but then that's a lot of support. That's three supports already. Unless this is a nuke Lydia. Imagine a, a nuke Lydia. Of course, of course, said the horse. All right, let's do this. We're going to ban Duchess, and he might actually ban Tormund. Oh, he didn't. Okay, well, I guess we're going to Armand's away then. That's interesting. I was talking to, um, I'm well, not talking to you guys. I mean, I was talking to one of you guys and we were talking about live arena etiquette. And, uh, in case you missed that, it's the, the last video that, um, I, I did the last, uh, Reddit podcast style thing, but, uh, I'll talk a little bit about it while I'm trying to do this. Let's get rid of you just to, just to be sure. All right. Of course, that's going to happen, but we're also going to stun. I don't think he gets stunned, though, but we can sheep you just to be sh just to be extra safe. And with this, we're able to. Um, oh, OK, so the unkillable still goes up even after being sheep, but we can decrease the buff duration on that and then clap that. So, yeah, um, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty good fight. Uh, a little bit different than what I'm used to. But we were talking about etiquette. In fact, here's the, the exact post. We we're talking about etiquette. This guy was talking about, hey, you know, he was like, hey, is it is it okay if I make stall teams? Uh, is that a dick move? And personally, I think he's being a dick. But, um, you know, some people were saying, okay, I don't think it's, it's wrong to ask honestly if something is wrong. And again, I don't think that's wrong. I don't think there's an issue with asking and wondering if something is wrong, if you should or shouldn't be doing something. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with asking, right? It's better to ask than to, than to, um, uh, what do you call, what? All, all this time, guys, this entire time, my cats, guys, this entire time, they're just sleeping, they're quiet. And as soon as I start talking to the camera, they start making a bunch of noise. Look at them, look at them go. Look, he's shaking his little butt, trying to go in for the kill here. Oh my gosh, dude. Can you guys not? Anyway, yeah, uh, as I was saying before I was lo losing my train of thought, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with asking questions, especially if you're just unsure about how things are, right? But, oh, we don't want that. Let's pick Pixnail. But my other thing is this, right? When it comes to whether or not something is right or wrong, if you have to ask, you're probably not doing the right thing. That's my take on it, right? If you have to stop and ask, you're probably not doing the right thing, right? So the fact that he's asking, it, it it's kind of giving the idea that he is somewhat aware of it, in which he should somewhat probably not be doing it. But yeah, that's his whole thing. I mean, even this guy is just like, hey, I'm playing like an asshole. Am I being like an asshole or am I being an asshole? So yeah. Let's put you to sleep and it doesn't, it does, oh, it doesn't, oh, no, it's only um, her second form. I should have transformed, damn, wasn't paying attention. All right, what are we doing here? We're Armandsing, okay. There is no reason why Armands should be able to solo a team. I freaking hate Armands. Like, obviously it's cool when you're the one rocking him, but it's, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Jesus, there's there's no reason for it. And Pixneal, boom. Nuke Pixneal, super silly. 
All right, next fight. Hopefully we get in a few more battles and we get that zeal chest in because I, I want to be absolutely done with zeal. I, I, I'm, I'm done with it. D uh, done with live arena, I mean. So I wanted to continue this conversation uh, while we're doing live arena. I thought that would be pretty cool to do. Chapter Affection, it says, no real etiquette, just try not to be a slowpoke without good reason. You can read some of the posts about fast LA farming, decide for yourself, and, um, you know, you can get a fast conversion rate of 10 daily tokens into live arena rewards. Oh, he's going to try and bomb me out. All right, let's try doing this. And then he brings up the conversation, like, hey, would you rather do a lot of fights that'll be longer and more tedious against opponents that are stronger and tankier than you are? Or would you rather, um, you know, figure out a different way around it? And I actually have a video showcasing that where it's just like, yeah, there is a way to, to do it if you don't want to do it the quote unquote legit way, right? You're basically just dropping rank, but um, and that's, that's what I've been doing, right? Because these, uh, these past few fights have been somewhat easy. They haven't been too difficult. I don't want to be in a live arena fight for more than a minute tops, right? Because it's just it's just annoying. It's unnecessary. I, I don't like doing it. Do, do, I don't know anybody that likes to be in a fight for XYZ amount of time. Let's do this. Throw it on auto. And okay, never mind. Uh, already. Right? These are the types of fights that I want. Quick, fast, in a hurry, get it out of the way. He refers to this Reddit post here. I haven't looked at it, but let me see. Don't give up on Live Arena. It's not as bad as you think. He's in Gold 3. He just got to Gold 3. I hate being up here. Uh, hello, everybody. I just reached Gold 3 in Live Arena. The last milestone to get Quintus. And I figured it would be a good time to share some tips to make it easier for you to climb and get your own Quintus too. Even though he's not that great that I've heard. Let's pick our Mons, of course. This is how this is how Live Arena is. It's, it's ridiculous. I think it's kind of stale, to be honest. It's our Mons and then Wukong, and then Arbiter, and then just pretty much, you know, it's just the same champions. It's the same thing. It, it, it's stale in my opinion. First off, there seems to be a lot of, let's see, Ooh, let's pick you and let's pick, hmm, yeah, let's pick Mikage. There you go, that's a good choice. Gotta get rid of Georgia for sure. Surely we're getting rid of Georgia. Yeah, get get rid of Georgia. There we go. Ah, he didn't leave. He didn't let me keep our mons. Damn. Oh, Elva actually would have been a good choice to to ban because Elva does the block um, block uh, freezes and place the block debuffs as well. That would have been pretty good. That would have been a good idea for me to do. But we'll see. Uh, I guess she doesn't have to worry about it because now we're doing that but at the same time what should we do here i feel like we sh we might want to just get rid of you so then she would have to instead of um removing she would revive oh no she doesn't do that okay well, let's put this on cooldown so that Tar uh, taurus T taurus doesn't get a god hand move in good choice good choice don't put that blame on you. I don't blame you. Let's do that. Okay, so is it an AoE revive? Does Elva do AoE revive, or is it just a single? Estru oh, he leaves. I thought he had a good chance. I wouldn't have left. I would have kept fighting. But uh, let's go back to this. So he says, um, Quinta, he's not that great. Completely free to play. Been playing for less than a year. I believe anybody can do it with enough dedication. First off, there seems to be a lot of misconceptions I would like to clear up. You only face whales, is the first one. This is only the case if you're a whale yourself and have... Oh, let me see. Roku. Um, burr, 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 burr. Where is our... Oh, there you are. And if you notice right now, I'm not backing out of, out of a bunch of fights to get the easy fights. I'm, I'm kind of just... You know, uh, accepting the fights as they come. If I win, I win. If I lose, then I lose. I'm, I'm just not doing that whole thing right now. Um, let's see. Let's do that. Probably going to have to ban Mikage here. 
This is only the case if you're a whale yourself and have a really good win-loss ratio. You might run into the occasional whale, but most of those can still be bitten, uh, beaten with good builds and strategy. Number two, a lot of misconceptions again we're talking about. Number two, it's a huge time commitment. This is really subjective and can be influenced by a number of factors. First and foremost, your team comp. I ran into a speed control team all the way and, oh, I ran a speed control team all the way and it would take around 20 minutes per day to use up my 10 free dailies, uh, his live arena tokens. It's up to you whether you consider that to be a lot of time or not. So he's getting, he's gonna bring in Duchess, I think. We should bring in Ramantu. And I don't have a damage dealer. I don't have a damage dealer. Actually, I have mine built for damage. This one right here. I have a uh, cardio built for damage. But let's just be a little safe here. And let's bring in Rhonda. I think that's going to be a good counter to um, Sun Wukong. We might have to get rid of Mikage just because she has way too much turn meter control or uh, too much control in general for me to uh, care to deal with. And if he leaves him here, we just might be able to outlast. But it kind of depends. Wukong is just going to go crazy. He's going to go ham. He's going to go crazy with it. But we'll see. We'll see here. The third one is you need a big roster of champions to even compete with. Yeah, yes and no, kind of. You don't need 10 meta voids, and I'm just reading what he's uh, reading here. You don't need 10 meta void Legos to stand a chance in live arena all the way through bronze, but that, again, that's just bronze. Uh, I used a team consisting of Artak, Kale, and Gorgorab, Tyrell, War Maiden even, that's rare. Eventually, you're gonna get better champions and you can replace the weak links in your team one by one. Your team does not need to be perfect from the start. Can you guys hear my cat? He's fucking annoying as shit. He's just meowing for what? All right, here we go. Nero, you ate already, bro. What are you doing? I don't understand these cats, dude. The rewards aren't worth it. Luckily, and uh, before we, we get to this part, the, the rewards not being worth it, I kind of have to disagree to a certain extent, right? I just checked to see how many primals I have, and I actually have 25. Just a good majority of that is coming from Live Arena. And I think that's crazy. Because if I just waited for primals to come from like Hydra or anything else, I pro why did he leave? I probably wouldn't have this this many, um, what do you call it? Koala T Kush. This many uh, primals. Uh, let's see, the rewards aren't worth it, luckily. There are more rewards than just Quintus, including four primals a month, one really good, one decent gear set, and most importantly, er uh, area bonuses. Oh yeah, area bonuses is, a, is another one. It's a huge thing. You definitely want these area bonuses, especially for something like Hydra, Centranos even, uh, Hard, Fire Knight, and Ice Golem. That's the ones that I prioritize personally. Let me see here. Skills on cooldown. Bring it around town. Who should I use? Who should I use? I kind of want to get rid of Harima. Actually, we'll try our luck with Pixneal. He's not going to expect it. He's not expecting it. He's not expecting Pixneal's going to smash. Area bonuses are one of the easiest ways to progress. Uh, if you're struggling with pretty much anything, Getting these tokens from Live Arena becomes a lot easier. Uh, you want to clear big Hydra damage? Just max out ignore defense. Nice. Good choice. Good choice. I would have banned um, Yumiko as well here. But we'll see here. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. There's some things you do actually need. You need good builds. If you don't have a stone skin team that goes second, you need to have enough speed to go first. Right? Now, what I could do here is this and then hopefully we get the stun off i don't want to exactly attack hefrak yet but this might actually do it if we can make sure we don't oh and he leaves okay he was like oh i saw pix neil i can't deal with that come on give me a zeal boot bro what the fuck dude this is eight chests eight chests and not a single goddamn fucking piece of zeal Holy fucking shit, man. Dude, fuck this game mode, dude. What? 
The horse, dude. I'm doing this for the horse. I fucking hate Live Arena. Live... Eight chests, guys. Are you listening to me? Eight fucking zeal chests, bro. What are the drop rate? What is this? What are we doing? Polarium, be better, bro. What the fuck? Dear God. Yeah, so uh, he's right. You do need good builds. Um, enough speed to go first. From my experience, you need around 200 in bronze, 250 in silver, 300 plus. Whoa, that is... He's saying you need like 300 plus in gold live arena. I don't have a lot of champions that are going 300 plus. So I don't necessarily uh, agree with that completely. But yeah. This one's going to be a toughie. Look at this. He's got Teox. He's got a mythical champion. Oof. He didn't want to deal with it. He didn't want to deal with the Tormen. Uh, you need nukers to hit hard and consistently. Get 100% crit rate and ignore. Let me see here. Let's get rid of Mezumed. Or maybe I should have got rid of this, rid of this bomb, dude. Because this guy's annoying. Should I have hit the A2? What's he going to do? Whoa. Calm down, daddy. Oh, oh, oh. That's the sound of the police in my... I fucking hate Meshack, to be honest with you. Um, You don't need many champs. All the champs that you need fill different roles. Okay, here we go. Hmm. What did he pick last time? It was Teox, Astrid, a bunch of champions that I don't have. Um, Let's keep it consistent here. But we're going to change it up a bit. Hmm. Come on, pick your guys. Oh. Hmm. What about you? Now I'm, I'm doing this because I think that they have a lot of AoE moves. So maybe we're going to get away with it. But then the only thing I have to worry about is Nishak. But if I take care of Nishak, don't got to worry about it, right? Okay, no passives on Mortu. I hate how the passive wasn't procking. Proc, damn it, proc. There it is. That's the proc right there. And let's see if we can get rid of you. Nope, not yet. Okay. Wukong's back from outer space. And then here comes the Shazam! Oh, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Come on. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Come on, hit me. Oh, he got more tude. He got more tude. There it is. Skidoosh. Yes, triumphant. Got my revenge. Call it a good day. But that Armand's, dude. I don't know why he got first pick both times. Um, yeah, you don't need a diverse pool of champions. All you need are champions that fill different roles. For a speed team, you want a speed lead, debuffer, and nuker. The rest is optional. Make it consistent. Team synergy. Very important. Tune your champion speed so they go in the right order. Have a reason why... Oh, let me see. Oh, Abby, 595. Um, tune your champion speed so they go in the right order. Have a reason why you pick a certain champ. Even if a champion is good on paper, your 120 speed stone skin UDK doesn't have a reason to exist in a speed team. Have a win condition in mind when picking your champions, and pick your champions to enable the condition. I hate Armands. 
freaking soloing champions left and right, dude. Alright, so we have another bomb team. Always with the bomb teams. They're all the fucking same. Bomb teams, bomb teams. Damn. Hmm. I see. Well, I mean... Shit, we lose, we lose. It is what it is. I would too. That's fair. Now it's just a speed battle, basically. And it's likely that um, Arbiter will go first, unless my Yumiko is faster? Who's who's currently fast? Oh, uh, that's right, I changed Yumiko's build. So now it's Cardiel who's faster. A2, good choice. Let me get rid of... Actually, let's transform. We can stun, right? Let me see here. Oh, we got a good stun. You're not leaving. Unless I send you off. Some people like to leave when they know they're about to lose. I'm like, nah, you're giving me this. This is mine. I get to see this happen. Um, some more tips. Win lose streaks. If you want a pleasant experience, win win uh, avoid win streaks at any cost. I'll read it again because it, it kind of perseverates what I was saying in my last video talking about how I get easy wins. If you want a pleasant live arena experience, avoid win streaks at any cost. There is a hidden system in place that matches you with opponents of similar strength determined on your win-loss ratio. You can easily use this system to avoid unwinnable matchups. To do this, after winning two games in a row, simply leave the lobby as fast as possible in champ selection for your next game, thus resulting in a loss, dropping your rank. It might seem counterintuitive. Is this guy purposely just taking forever? Oh, he's going to be... Okay, no, no, this is what I do, guys. I give him one chance, right? I give him one chance. I let him, I let him, um, you know, run it all the way down. And then if I see him running it down again, then I know he's doing it on purpose. And we don't like people like this. This is exactly the type of guy who does this kind of thing. Just stalls the opponent. All right, if you want, uh, okay, hidden system, we talked about that. And my cats are just going buck wild with it. Let me see. Like, I'm losing my train of thought. I already can't focus. It's crazy. Uh, seems counterintuitive, but it saves both time to make investment more manageable, and it gets you better matchmaking in the future. A short time loss for a long time gain, so to speak. And this is true, right? Because if you spend your time, let me, let me finish reading this. Similarly, lose streaks exist, and if you lose three times in a row, you're going to get matched with a bot for your next game until you reach gold. I personally don't dodge after losing two in a row to get a lose streak, but I've heard people who do it to get easy matches. Exactly. So this guy is purposely just stalling out, and uh, you know, I have a, I've got a thing for him, but I didn't know he was going to do this, otherwise I would have brought in my uh, support Wukong here. But let's go ahead and... We have Mikage. You know what? Let's make it brutal for him. We're gonna we're gonna bring in UDK. No, no, we need UDK. yeah UDK and Rodos. Let's do that. All right. Oh, and I was supposed to wait out the entire meter also. Fuck. Oops. Hmm. Who should we pick next? I'm thinking Cardio going fast. I do want him to revive people, so that is something that I want, because if he revives, then I can keep him, keep him around a lot longer, and, um, you know, just kind of keep him here until he decides to leave, since he's being an absolute fucking donut. We'll see. Um, let me see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Lose streaks exist if you lose three times in a row. Ba -ba. I've heard people do it. Yeah. Uh, have a functioning team no matter what champion gets banned. Remember that your opponent bans one of your champions if you only pick one nuker. 
there is a good chance that your opponent will target that and make you deal no damage. If you have one speed lead, turn meter control, be sure that a smart opponent will ban that and deny you the first turn. So make sure you have a backup in your squad for every important role, and similarly, this is what's going to get you your targets um, for banning. Also keep in mind the enemy comp and how to cripple it most effectively, or which champion on their team is the biggest counter to what you want to achieve. Um, yeah, let's go cardio. What's your name? Ral... Ralix? Ralix. Ralix is the type of guy that just loves to piss people off. Armands, if you don't have an answer to this champ, ban him. He will win the game by himself if unchecked. Exactly. However, if you have him, you can use this to your advantage. The previous point gets completely invalidated by him. I regularly pick champs or comps with only one nuker and a mons in them because if my nuker gets banned most of the time it's death by a thousand cuts for the enemy and that's exactly what our mons does he completely warps the game around him and if you have him make sure to abuse him that's right abuse him uh should we go speed lead or should we go yeah no no we're gonna go we'll, 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 we'll do speed lead we'll do speed lead just take more turns um let me see here in gold, prioritize prioritize contested champions. Uh, let's see, you want to prioritize champions for your first picks that are both very common. So basically, try to get these champions in before anybody else can get their champions in, right? So try to get your Arbiter in or Tormund first and Rondo or any block reviver for Wukong first or get Wukong first. I think Arbiter, I've heard, is a trap. I don't know, what, what, do, you, what do you guys think about that? Uh, don't get discouraged and learn from your losses. You can't win every game realistically with a win rate close to... Oh, let me see here. Let's do that. What we're going to do is we're going to transform here, and then we're going to stun. Um... I've heard Arbiter was a trap. Anyway, uh, don't, don't, get, uh, don't get discouraged. Oh, we're going to transform again? Oh, I, I thought I did it already. I'll just read it here. Don't get discouraged from a loss and try to determine how you lost. Like if it was an error for your decision making or you left the champion open that completely counters your game plan, adopt for the future. This can apply your team building, your bands, or individual decisions in making. You can always improve. Keep in mind you lose way less points that you win per match, and all you need to do is uh, have a win percentage of 40% or higher to eventually reach Quintus. Lastly, know that this is just from my personal experience. I didn't venture into whale territory, and uh, while Arbiter and Wukong were contested but in my matches, I'm pretty sure this doesn't apply for the highest level of play where Tarishka, Sifi, and Whites roam around. do this um where am i uh but you know that you can achieve a lot in live arena while simultaneously avoiding those levels of play yeah uh and that's a pretty good breakdown on how to properly do live arena or at least how to get a good start a good you know however you want to call it. it it's good it's a good um post i really like this post i'll link it down below um shout out to uh vavroni vavroni, vavroni because yeah he and i think the biggest thing is you know if you're going to be serious about live arena then you're definitely going to want to take those things into consideration especially the last thing that he talked about where it's like hey you want to basically um learn how or why you lost and then improve upon that work on your team comps work on your champion builds work on synergy and it looks like he just left his phone on or his computer on uh, auto or i mean after you step away for a while the game goes straight into auto so if that's the way that he is that's you know we're just gonna uh, do this there you go and um i'll i'll let him sit with this last part because he knows he's about to die yeah uh shout out to everyone dude a lot of the things that he talked about were things that i'm familiar with that i've done myself especially um again that last video where i talk about how i get easy wins so yeah, back to you know live arena etiquette this is an example of somebody you don't want to go up against and if you do i implore you to do what i just did to him 
Eight Town Red, the Black Rebellion. God, he's almost at 4,000. He's almost at 4,000. Oh my God. You know what? We're, we're leaving. We're not doing this. We don't want win streaks. Win streaks are bad. Bad win streaks. We want losses in here. Game matching will eventually put you in your proper bracket according to your playstyle, power, win loss ratio. Uh, if you're going to win a lot, but you're spending 10 minutes to 20 minutes in most fights, it's your choice. Exactly. You don't want to spend 10 to 20 minutes. Like this game takes up already a lot of time. You don't want to spend this much time. Like how we're 30 minutes into a fight. I've done like what? I don't know. Almost 10 fights. I forgot. But yeah, uh, you know, this is kind of just dependent on you. I will surrender immediately if there's no clear win condition. And, you know, uh, if, you, the, if the fight's going to take longer than two minutes. And this is an example of somebody who's just going to be hard to deal with. And I, I just don't want to deal with it. I'm, I'm not dealing Like, yeah, there was Armands, but I'm, 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 I'm not dealing with that. All right. Just take the L, move on. If you really want to see control other players, too bad for you. And again, he's talking to this guy who was like, hey, am I being a dick for being a troll? Uh, if you really want to see control other players, too bad for you. There's no way to chat with specific players in raid to feel their wrath and feel your darker side. Probably should just go find a better game. Exactly. And again, yeah, if he's sincere and he's genuinely asking if this is okay, if it's okay to uh, run really tanky teams with good revives to either outlive my opponent or to run the game until they leave, am I just being a dick? He asks, am I being a dick or is it fine? So again, the fact that he has to ask is this wrong am i being a dick tells me that he's got an idea and oh we're, this guy again hold on i got my my sheep wukong for him let's see here we're gonna do makage this guy again it's it's perfect it's perfect Let's see here. Um, where were we? And oh, this guy says, fuck what everyone else is saying. Use what you win, what you need to do, or do what you gotta do to win. I don't get the mindset that anything other than nukers is an invalid play style, especially since your roster of champions is heavily RNG based, especially in early game. Don't let others keep you from using a viable strategy because they prefer fast and easier wins. That, you know, Here's the thing, like I, I understand where he's coming from and I actually had this discussion in my YouTube comments about it. And um, let me see if I can find it. There was one person who uh, didn't exactly say like, hey, I want people to troll, but he did bring up this point, right? If it's a strategy that works, then is there anything really wrong with it? He, he gave like other things to note of as well. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I think it was Volbohian. Yeah, so he had a good discussion here, I think, as well. So, oops. So, Volbohian28 says, There's nothing wrong with out-controlling your opponents. If you feel you're better off with a, without a clear win condition, then that team is the one you should field. Now, Polarium implement... Now, should Polarium implement a sort of turn timer in Live Arena where after, say, 50 turns, your max HP starts going down, there is something to say for that for sure. And so um, he clarifies this further. He and Darren go back and forth. Uh, Al brings in uh, his point. Uh, but, 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 where, is, where are we? Okay, you're still there? Okay. And, uh, you know, I read everything he said and my response was this interesting take definitely probably not the most popular opinion but i can see where you're coming from and how you mean and i can agree to a certain point kind of similar to what i've said about um just in general if it's working is it really stupid right that is something that i've that i've said before that i've that i still uh, believe is you know relative right if something is working i don't think there's necessarily something wrong morally with using it to to a point right i can agree with it to a point in wars or in fights nobody cares about how you win as long as you win when it stops becoming a sport for example boxing or you know mma you know we're talking about warriors people who want to fight or who love fighting just for the thrill of fighting and they can appreciate it and whatnot you know that's kind of going to the ends about it the the spectrum the end of the spectrum for it but 
These guys don't care about sport. They're not doing it for points. They're doing it to win in an absolute fight, an, an actual um, battle, right? In those situations, morality and ethics leave the window. It still feels like a dick move, right? I'm not going to detract. Like, I, I I get where he's coming from. I get where this guy's coming from. Or not this guy. I get where this guy's coming from, too. Bielso, bro. Um, but at the same time, it's still a dick move, right? Like, look at this guy. He's probably used to people going into live arena with him. And he's pulling this and purposely doing this so that people just get fed up and leave. He doesn't know I'm doing a video. I'm talking anyway. So it's not like I'm sitting here on, with my thumb up my ass. Um, it's completely fine for now. And, and I'm just going to play along with him. Uh, the point is that defensive strategies must be possible because if not, you're going to get a very inbred meta. That is why I suggested a general timer per person, whether it wins, uh, when it runs out, you lose. Super simple and easy to understand in like MTG, chess and other games. And then he says, for the record, I don't want trolling either. And uh, I actually like this. Uh, I thought it was pretty solid. It was a pretty solid option, a way for Polarium to deal with uh, Live Arena, right? Because if, if Polarium makes it so that if this timer reaches zero and you don't react to it and we'll say like i don't know two times that happens then um then i think that yeah it, it's probably um pretty good to do that to like let the person who didn't click and is purposely and i'd say like give it two three times to let them lose the fight in that sense right uh and then darren uh oh he tacks in uh he explains uh and this is what i was talking about darn was explaining like hey if if he's actually asking he's saying if this guy right here in this post is actually asking because he's genuinely um like confused about how to to operate in this then it should be okay like there's nothing wrong with asking questions which is right i think it's right it's okay um you know but because he says, I, I I don't think this person is being a dick. But again, I, I, I told him this. I was like, but he's asking, is he being a dick, right? So the fact that you're asking means that you have an idea that you're probably doing something wrong, right? Um, but that's that's what I was uh, saying to him. And um, he responds to Dari. I'm going to read what he says here. Right, where are we? Okay, so yeah, all right, this is how we're gonna do it. Oh, I didn't bring my Sheep Wukong in. Fuck. Oh, because he banned it, that's why. He knew. He knew I was gonna sheep him. Transform. That is certainly, and then he's responding to. Um, this guy, Vo Vobo, about his his way of approaching things. Wait for it. There you go. He says, that's certainly another way of doing it and would work in the same way as I've already mentioned. Almost what I suggested actually sounds a, li a little bit more complicated than it actually is. The algorithms are already there. Just adding in this feature to monitor the clock internally or sp uh, specifically for this too see here they might already be doing it and it seems like something they would do anyway to see if their whole system was working what you're suggesting is basically the same thing but has external timers that run down and end the fight automatically which i like um because if somebody's gonna be an absolute um fucking pineapple like this then i feel like they should like get banned from live arena or, or something like a there, there needs to be something for assholes like this, is, is what I'm getting at. Let me see. Um, the only issue is that you can't put it on a hold. Of course, real life happens all the time. That's true. What if you get a knock on the door, telephone call, children start acting up another part of home or you simply need, need to use the bathroom. And that's why I was saying, hey, maybe give them like two two chances or something like that, right? Have Polarium give us give the meter two two chances to hit the the bottom or hit the very end to hit zero and then after like the second or maybe even the third time it hits the zero again just kick them out uh the other way is to gather over two hours is to gather data over a two hour period 
and you can collate the information over a set period of time to see if that person's uh, that person's training behavior. This could then lead to whatever you wish it to implement as possible punishment for uh, from warning to speeding up your time play, timing out from LA and banned for uh, repeat violations, which yeah, I agree with. A banning for people like this would be great so that they can't ruin the game mode further than it already is. You know what I mean? It's possible your way to have a limit of doing this three times. Okay, so exactly what I was saying. Something that can be done, need actual game coding. It would take a lot longer to write and implement, of course, as it becomes part of the game mode instead of running at the back end. My way of just adding values right there. Uh, but going back in my way of uh, adding my way is just adding values to the algorithms already in place. It can be done in less than half a day. It really does sound a lot harder than it is. Just trying to explain the respiratory system and what entails in fine detail to someone who already knows that you're breathing um, means you breathing means that you're already alive. But may get confused when trying to explain the whole process of breathing. And yeah, I, I guess. And I, I told him too. I was like, yeah, I, I hear where you're coming from, but at the same time. He, he knows, like he's, he's asking if what he's doing is wrong, right? All right. So, um, honestly, if you haven't got the team to crack a defense like that, just quit and save yourself time. And that's the other thing that I, I saw, uh, I forgot where I saw it, but someone was like, it's not my fault if the guy doesn't have the uh, the builds or, or whatever you want to call it in order to be well look at that i was hoping for rotus to get that extra turn on this asshole and it did yeah some people were saying like hey it's not my fault that they can't pass my my defense and that's kind of true right if you think about war uh, if, if there's like a castle that you can't breach is it the castles or the people who are inside the castle is it their fault i mean technically yeah it's their fault because they put up the defense but is it their fault in the sense that like, should the people opposing the castle people really get mad if it's impossible for them to crack their defense? Like, I, I get that. I get that perspective. But at the same time, dude, you're being a dick. Give me that Ralex guy again. Moogie, free to play. Damn. I run a speed team, two speed leads, supports, nukers, one utility, so I can't get banned without a win condition. I run it on auto. 50% win rate. Quick the moment. Uh, quit the moment they pick a time-wasting defense, and I know I can't beat them. My matches are lucky if they last the minute value your own time exactly you, you gotta value your own time right ideally you would want to like i said get like one minute two minute fights if i met that guy again and like i wasn't doing a video anyway i probably would have just clapped him a lot sooner but um because honestly he probably just like walked away or something but i don't know because he he went back to back with me almost so i don't i don't know if he walked away but anyway um ooh, Kage, let's bring this this guys in these guys in but yeah you want to value your own time just leave the fight i i think this guy's almost at four four thousand rating and he's at level 93 i've played people that put up double armands in makage there's no etiquette get that win so he's saying there are no rules just do it i'm like yeah i, I guess i guess it's one way i and it seems like everybody's on opposing sides here, right? I'm of the mind that, yeah, do whatever you got to do to win, but like, don't waste people's time. Don't waste your own time. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like being on the receiving end of it. And that's totally understandable, I think, right? Mm. Let's get rid of Makage, because I'm afraid of Makage. Makage's got too much control. Okay, I think we're going to have a decent chance, but then Mithrala might do her thing, so that's kind of iffy. That's kind of iffy. Rake Leafer says, try 400 speed in gold. My Arbiter, 350, gets second turned by Armand's Imago Crixia Warlords all the time. I think matchmaking who you play against is more complex than how you spend. True. I have a 403 Siffy and Silver 3. And I'm outsped more frequently than I than I would like. That's just crazy. Imagine having a 400 speed champion. You're still getting outsped. That just brings it all back to like, there's nothing you can do. You will never be the best because 
there are always going to be people who spend more or are... What are you doing? Make a move, bro. What are you doing? What are you going to do? Make a move already. What are you doing? Good choice. Good choice. Let's see. If I... Who's going to go first? Let's get rid of you. Or not. Let's do that. There you go. Cool down. Damn, ever since my Yumiko, I broke her. Okay. I, I guess, dude. Ever since I, I broke uh, Yumiko's build, uh, she's not as fast as she used to be. And uh, it, it, nothing's been the same. Let's uh, cut through here. Ban Armands every time, bring in a team that can pivot and go second team. It depends on your recent win rate. If you win too many times, you move up into an invisible tier and fight people who also won plenty, mostly end game people. So best to resign every few to get to get rid of a win streak and accept the losses. Stone skin. The win-loss ratio is arguably the most important consideration for progression through live arena, crest farming, and building arena bonuses, area bonuses. For those that really dislike LA, they can go park themselves on silver four. Gold 1? Yeah, I want to go back to Gold 1 and purposely lose every time until they enter Gold 1. Keep the win ratio low at 40%. Guaranteed super easy matches. Only takes 10 minutes to do 10 fights. Yeah, because if you're doing a um, 1 minute fight per fight, you get uh, 3 to 4 real win uh, fight. You get to 3 to 4 real fights. 6 to 7 fights you give up instantly. Increase your... Um, oh, this will make it easy to get your most desirable area bonuses to level 6 without spending too much time daily getting you the maximal primal chests as well. Thank you for the write-up. Appreciate the tips and encouragement. Live Arena can be demoralizing. Yeah, it's exactly. It could be. It takes too long to get a match to find out if you go second or, you know. Yeah, th that's the other thing. Like, I wish that it didn't take so long to have people pick their champions. Like, I, I think it's too long to give people minutes to choose their champions. I feel like it should just be a few seconds. Maybe, like... I don't know, right now we get 30 seconds per champion. So if you're picking two champions, it's one minute of choosing in the drafting section uh, before the match starts. I think that should be down to like 10 seconds per champion. And then actually in the fight, you can go easily like 20 seconds, right? 20 seconds, I think. But it's, it's like, it says 15 seconds, but there's a little bit of a delay. So, you know, keep that in mind as well. What the hell are you smoking? Live Arena is a shit fest and will, and will be for the fu uh, foreseeable future. I mean, sure, dude. But also, he went out of his way to, to share this, so I don't think it's entirely bad. Ah, oh, damn, there's a sick friend in there. Do you have a place or platform where you share other tips as free-to-play? Your milestones are amazing for a year in. I'd love to hear more. This is the first post that's kind, but yeah, just be kind, guys. Look at this. See? He got a positive thing. I I'm gonna leave a positive comment with him too, and I'm gonna I'm gonna link it and um, what do you call it? Uh, link his post here and give him a, a heads up. I'm gonna let him know that I that I've shared his shit because it's awesome shit. I fucking love his shit. If there's enough interest, I can make some other posts about general free to play gameplay in the future on this subreddit. That would be awesome. Thank you in advance. 100%. What about your Hydra Curse City? We'd love to hear that. How are you running? Good. See, I'm a good good guy. You know. Real ones recognize that somebody is this awesome. That's great. 20 minutes for 10 fights. Yeah, nice lie. Even if, but that's not a lie, bro. 20 minutes, 10 fights. Nice lie. Even if you're both your opponents pick it within 10 seconds. Three picks on both sides plus ban. Eight times if you're super lucky. 80 seconds plus 10 seconds for finding a battle. Nine second loading screen. Another equals 100 seconds. This guy's being a nitpicky asshole. Every, uh, even the bit needs 30 seconds for every choice players need the full 45 to 60 seconds it's not unusual to need five minutes to get a battle done seems more like an hour these are my last five games four wins done in less 15 minutes and there were some small breaks in between games i definitively i definitely rarely take more than 30 minutes you don't need the mana champs proceeds to have warlord hefrak armands leorius how do you have so many good pvp champs and free to play as free to play i've spent a few grand live arena i mean Again, you're being nitpicky. Like, there's a lot of free-to-play players that have really good champions, like Hefrak or Warlord. I've done some free-to-play accounts, 
from zero to 100 and I've, I've had champions like that then they, they always do this smh i guess live arena progression is part of luck yeah, part, part luck yeah it is Besides our mons, those are firmly B-tier picks in today's meta. Necrid is particular in outright liability in Narcy's meta, not giving him a double hit, but uh, but also allowing him to block revive off the bat. Uh, just read what I wrote under 10 uh, win-lose streaks. Use 10 a day. Don't do 10 battles a day. More accurately, 7 actual battles, 3 losses, leaving 5 seconds in the champion selects. Biggest of uh, our mons, yeah. So, you guys can obviously see and again i i think it I, I believe him taking 10 minutes to do his live arena i mean i've done that the video i did where i was showing you guys how to do um live arena easy how to how to basically drop in rank like i i got that i got my battles done pretty quickly right i used up all my tokens pretty quickly i don't give a shit about quintus i just want the void horse pretty little thing you got a bag and now you violent you just took it off the line on my list.